purpose is to stimulate to that part to make it develop the same part. If you put it into the skin, it will turn the other part into the skin only. So that is what we call the stem cell potential this has got. So this, when we put it in the usually the tendon the problem, you know, the tendinopathies or any lateral, you know, the uh, the uh, elbow, or we put a volcus if we are not covering, volcus is not going to keep fitting like this. You know, they will get this, this muscle is more, more action. In this case, it has more tail over there over here. So these are the, the varieties of the problem where we give this, we take the blood from our body, put it in a filter, it has got rotations, and then it rotates, it filters into different layers. All this is WBC and plasma. The plasma being a very thin layer, it settles enough in the top most layer, that we will take it and infiltrate to the area where the pain from the past spot. That will take it of healing. So this is the original sense. Suppose tendon is there, like a ligament is there, so it initiates the ligament because once it is not, if it is not uh, given, what will happen? The ligament will heal, but with different fibers. That that fibers will not be elastic, like you know the previous ligament. So when we infiltrate, it makes that fibers into regain like a similar like the original ligament. That will help in flexibility. So this is a now uh, evolving the therapy which is coming into the sports uh, field. When we got ligament injury previously, used to give steroids and you kill the pain. But only we have killed the pain, but we are not really the exact cause of it. So now we have crossed differently and even uh, I showed about uh, the, the, the pole watch at Kathy. We gave a PR pain. She had a very bad the hamstring pull. The hamstring tear also she had a few fibers of tear. They were very bad. She was not jumping. I, I didn't show that one. So they we located the area where there is a tear with an ultrasound and given the PRP injection to the same location in that place. And for a period of time we give a rest for a period until that develops and then we have it. Okay, if you have a fall on this, 
over you know by falling you know by playing overhead and over hand stretch and you fall we think it is sprain and we neglect it okay i had yesterday a good example of a patient there is one scaphoid bone may come inside okay this scaphoid bone was completely fractured I'm not seeing thinking that okay a simple sprain somebody had just given it and put a ointment and painkiller and sent no because we have to see if we just go to deep into ask how is the mode of injury when we had an inquiry about it took an x-ray that x-ray showed a small hairline you took a CT CT showed clear fracture sometimes we need an evaluation we, need, we cannot think directly it is we don't need an x-ray because x-ray is mandatory to rule out actually I can say to rule out unless I think there is a fracture evident Definitely, that, is the, that to evident fracture we have to see so that we what type of treatment we have to give it. But whereas we are taking an X-ray, we have to see associated injury should not be ruled, should not be missed. That is it. So it is a trend that everybody is suggesting Myanmar and Myanmar are all hard to that. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> of course. So, but we should ask in 7,000. See, is it? Only the art of clinicians should suggest an MRI and anybody can suggest it. No, anybody can suggest an MRI, there is no problem, you can take an MRI. But what MRI we have to take? What type of MRI? Or just this thing and suddenly MRI we have to take. What type of MRI we take? A lot of the MRI is full for that. So we call it a magnetic resonance imaging. We call it a magnetic resonance imaging. So this MRI, what you know, it takes, it is useful for us for a muscular skeleton, I mean, for a muscular tissue, muscles, tendons, and nerves. Fine. When we see an X-ray, when we see a body job, I said, I, I said about this form. It had a form. We saw this. There is a pain in the wrist. We took an X-ray. X-ray showed normal, no fracture, but still there comes the pain. But when you see, I have a video in my, this one in my phone actually, I am not sure. If you see an example over here, it will not move when you do, when you do this test. But whereas, even X-ray was normal, when I, when I do this test, this bone will keep moving. That is, the bone is normal, no fracture to the bone. But, from this bone to this bone, there is a small ligament connecting inside. Inside actually. When we do some test, we call a piano test. How do we do the piano? Similarly to the piano over here. So that will show the abnormal movement of this small bone. That is because there is a clear of that one. That will not be shown in the X-ray. To see that, you have to have a first clinical findings to tell, yeah, we need an MRI to do no. Just not like a blindly, we can we cannot go an we cannot should not advise an MRI. If it is necessary. Shall we go with MRI or the physician? Are the physician the advice for MRI? Yeah, definitely, all the physician will advise because here we have an MRI of a different. We have a contrast MRI. We have a we have plain MRI. As I said, sometimes you know some shoulder problem. I said we have a shoulder problem. There is something ligament tear is happening inside. For the plain MRI, a good radiologist will definitely will point out the clear problem. We call it a slap tear. But a not the experienced and why they will experience because all radiologists are not an experienced in reading an MRI. Yeah, that's right. Yes. So there are few specialists who are trained to read only an MRI. So these radiologists definitely can bring out the problems. Otherwise, what they will they will suggest is we need to put a dye inside, an injection inside the joint see where is the tear, where is the fluid is coming out to the tear or not, then we will put the diagnosis. So, we need to see what type of an MRI it is, whether it is a plain MRI or whether it is a, a orthogram or We put put it dye inside and take an MRI. So, that definitely will be done by an, an orthopedic However, we take MRI, you will have to read and read yes. it only. Yes, yes. I think we can get the MRI. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, what and also, and also, I would, I would also tell you also one more. You said you know we can we, we can suggest. What happens is sometimes the problem is here. Okay, okay. 
it is referred here. In the sense, like the same nerve supply in the head will give you to the knee also. When you see the pain, the patient comes with only the knee pain. They will not take the pain here, the problem. For them, this is main actually because they just want to ignore this. They don't want to ignore this, just to recover it. They tell here this pain. But when you examine it, you see the problem lies with you. So if you take an MRI of this, a lot of calibration has done, this diagnosis has been done. They will do an MRI of this. But the main MRI should have been done here to click the diagnosis. Yes. Yeah, that is why we examine. That is why we examine when we come. So we don't directly tell the patient pain here. We we'll say, we say examine what exactly it is, and then so many patients come to the pain in the leg, back pain, sciatic. If you take an MRI from here to here, what is the rules? <laughs> so the problem, if you tell the patient the problem lies here, they will still lose doctor. <laughs> I have a pain here. He want to take an MRI. Here. Isn't it? So we have to convince tell him, tell the patient there is a problem here. The spinal cord is pressing to the nerve. The spinal the disc is pressing the nerve. Which are getting the pain? <coughs> Many old people will not understand. They will not tell, okay, when we advise, you know, the MRI has had a problem with the spine, that is why you are not able to stand. They will never they will say, okay, walk away. They will go to the next doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Supreme Court, yes. the students, the continue their means to me. After uh, 300 meters, 400 meters, they will get a muscle cramp. Why this is happening? Because of how muscle only they are getting cramp. Yeah. That is, what is the treatment of See, the most of the uh, people, they do not take the proper electrolytes. Fine. When they got exhausted, our body, our muscles needs a small, simple electrolytes. If you see the proper uh, trainer, he will advise the first, you know, he has a better coconut, or simple the buttermilk. So these are two rich. Our people, they just work out only just, they eat, they take nice meat on the stadium, they take good eggs. But if you ask them to take tender coconut, if you ask them to take buttermilk, they will take no. I don't want because they don't understand. What is there in the electrolytes? What, what is the electrolytes? And what is the importance of the or what is the importance of this battery? Because these two are important for the body. One banana is sufficient for energy, and one buttermilk and one uh, tender coconut is sufficient for electrolytes. Enough. You don't have to eat cages of uh, mutton, chicken, or what dog. So that is what it is happening. Because of electrolytes, because of vitamin E, all this efficient, they will come to cramps. So in muscle crop cell, we should be by the one thing. Yes, exactly, exactly. Why? This went out. We need to wipe it. Good stretching. Relaxing. Massage. I said massage. Nicely massage. The answer which is there. So whatever thing it has to nicely massage. Rest them. You go away. And then you nicely hydrate them with the fluids. No, no, no. It is not a pain killer. The cramps is not because of a pain of anything. This cramp is because of the electrolytes balance.